Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV. We're located in Frederick, Colorado. That's about a half an hour north of Denver, just off of I-25. To get a hold of me, simply call the office at 303-684-3404. The Freightliner we're going to take a look at today is a little bit different than the ones that we usually look at, but still ones that bring still is one that brings a tremendous amount of value. This is a 2017 Freightliner M2-106. The conversion is Western Hauler. So this truck has right at 113,000 miles. So as we take a look from the side view and, and kind of look at some things that maybe jump out to us, that's a little bit different than what we're used to seeing. I guess the main thing is, is the bed of the truck. If you'll notice, this truck is actually a flat bed. So that makes it really dual purpose. Not only can it tow a lot of things, but you can put a substantial amount on the bed of the truck as well. Things like hay, stuff like that, that you can go ahead and, and load up into the bed of the truck. As we start to come forward, <coughs> we'll see it comes with one storage component located right here. And if you'll notice all the lights running across the side of the truck. So at night, this truck really lights itself up. As we come on around and take a look directly in front of the truck, we'll see tow hooks located here and here. And now as you'll notice, the bumper is actually broken into three parts, one on each side and one on the middle. And the logic behind that is if we are in an accident, say we ding this up right here, we can simply replace that section without having to do the entire thing. The truck is a metallic black, so there are some gold specks in it that, to kind of dress it up a little bit. Furthermore, the Freightliner badge located right there. As we come on up and take a look at the windshield, we'll find 2,500 square inches of glass. So that makes visibility simply outstanding in the truck because not only can you see things coming in front of you, but on the sides as well. More lighting located on top of the truck. As we take a look under the hood, that's the Cummins. 8.9 liter engine coupled with the Allison 3200 TRV transmission. That engine offers 350 horsepower, 1,050 foot pounds of torque. So, as you can see, things are color coordinated. Again, there's the red that we're going to leave to the Freightliner mechanics, but we can check the oil right here and do a couple of things for those pre-trip inspections. Now the batteries are located underneath the back seat. However, if the batteries are dead and we need to jump them, we can do that from right here. In terms of the tires, we put brand new Michelins on it, 255-80-R22.5. Right here is the Western Hauler badge. A little bit of history about this company. They've been around for over 30 years now, producing a very high quality product. Underneath here is the block heater. And as we open the door and take a look at the driver's seat, the driver's seat is heated and we can turn that on right here. This is the adjustments. In addition, this pedal is where we would adjust the steering wheel. And as you can see, just to the right of that is the trailer brake. Now, when we're driving a truck like this and we go to start it, we're gonna to wanna to turn that key about halfway and let those gauges go all the way over and all the way back to basically reset themselves. 
and then start the truck. If we get in a hurry and do that a little prematurely, there is a chance that it'll kick a code that simply doesn't exist. A look in the back seat. And you can see that leather is a little different. That's called black croc. Now this back seat does make down into a bed and the switch for that is up in the panel and I'll show you that here in just a little bit. Take a look inside the storage component. Now that does run back pretty deep so you do have room to store various items. As we continue on and take a look directly behind the vehicle. And we'll start at the bottom and work our way up. We'll see a hitch for a bumper pull. And right here is where we would hook the lights up. One advantage to this truck is this trough. As you can see, that leads right up to the ball. So it's a lot easier to hook up your trailer and not bang on, on the sides of things, then it'll just keep the truck last longer and show more durability with that trough being in there. As we continue on and work our way up, you can see the backup camera. In addition to yet more lighting located on each side. With a truck that has a few miles on it like this, there isn't any scratches, dings, that kind of things on it. It was very well maintained. So a lot of the people in the market for this type of truck are also in the market for pickups. So let's compare this truck to a pickup. Well, first of all, it's not uncommon to see $100,000 pickups anymore. So from a financial aspect, this simply makes more sense. This is gonna last as long as two, possibly three pickups. So even though the investment is slightly more in the beginning, if you take a look at the long haul and project things, it makes more financial sense to invest in a, this product, which is safer anyway. As we take a look in the back seat, you'll notice how much room is involved. And I wanted to show you the lighting in there. Can we just So as you can see, when you look at the top and along the side, all of that lights up. So at night, this not only does the outside of the truck light up, but the inside does as well. And from this angle, we can get a good view of the DVD player. As we come on forward, take a look at the passenger seat. Again, here's the button for the heated seats and adjustments are made underneath here. This gives us access to the cab air filters. Now let's crawl on in and take a closer look. Now as we take a look at the inside and take a look at the console, this here, this is called Redwood. So that really dresses the truck up on the inside. I guess here lately they've changed that to black, but this dark red wood really dresses the truck up. Radio right here. Over here is where we would set the cruise. As you can see, the mirror heater button is located right there intermittent marker lights here. This is the dump valve. So that simply releases air out of the bed of the truck. As we come on down, this truck comes with air brakes. So right now we're in neutral with a parking brake on. Furthermore, trailer air supply is already set. The lines are installed. All you simply have to do is put the glad hands wherever you want them. If you do have a trailer that uses air. 
cigarette lighter located here. Now this comes with a six speed automatic transition, transmission. And I realize a truck this size can be somewhat intimidating to drive, but it's very simple. R for reverse, N for neutral, and D for drive, and you're on your way. Climate control located right here. Over here is the engine brake. So right now it is off. If you flip it to high, we're affecting all six cylinders. Low is three. An example of when you would use that, if you're coming down a sharp decline, such as the Rocky Mountains right next door, and you're towing a heavy trailer, you're gonna wanna let that engine brake help you because that is gonna help slow everything down to make things safer for you and the other drivers on the road. As we come on up, CB radio located here. This is the switch for the back seat. We talked about how that makes down into a bed. This switch here is the one that does that. This turns the light on for the bed. An additional lighting located right up here. Another look at the console, and we'll see cup holders located here and some in the back as well. And we open it up and find all of the original manuals. So a little bit different truck than we usually have, but as stated, one that brings a ton of value. If you have any other questions, oh, this is stock number 5U220288. If you have any other questions about it, please feel free to give me a call. The cell phone number 970-370-4067. The work extension 303-684-3404. Feel free to email me at larry.vickers at transwest.com. Thanks for tuning in today.